So today, what we're gonna be doing here on Happy Home Paradise, as you know, I'm trying to finish this so I can decorate my villager houses. We're pretty close. I think we're only like 10 villager homes away, but I thought today, instead of speeding through the game, we could try to give our villagers the worst home that we can think of. I tend to make the homes into like just garbage piles, you know, but we're gonna try to do like the absolute worst. Like if Hopper wants like a beautiful like ice place, like what would be the absolute worst thing for a penguin? You know, like I guess it is kind of the opposite of what they want, but we're gonna consider what they are asking for and we're gonna consider the animal that they are, whatever. We're just gonna give them something that's gonna be terrible for them because I'm just trying to get myself fired, you know? So we do have good sir toilet man. I feel like we have to, we have to give him a vacation home, right? I feel like we just have to. Restroom refuge. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. So he's a lion and he also wants toilet, bathroom kind of vibe. What's the absolute worst thing if you're a lion and you want a toilet kind of vibe? Lions live in like warmer areas, right? I'm thinking we put them in the snow and the snow will also be terrible because What's the last thing you want if you're like trying to go to the bathroom? A toilet out in the middle of the snow. That's just the worst. And a toilet that you have to get on a freaking boat to go to, to an iceberg in the middle of nowhere. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking our house should be brown just for no reason. There we go. That's a good shade of brown. If you are a person who just loves a good bathroom, right? The worst thing is going to be just having this out in the middle of the open, right? Like, why do you have to, first of all, take a boat to get to the bathroom? And second of all, you get to the bathroom, you're on the toilet, and it's just in the middle of the freezing cold, right? Like, that sucks. Oh, wait, can we make it snowing? And it's snowing! <laughs> And you have to deal with the snow as you're trying to do your business. Wait, I'm kind of feeling the jail bars. The toilet jail. <laughs> I'm trying to think if this is something that Lionel would actually hate or would he actually like this? Why is that so funny? Please put some toilet paper miles away from the toilet. Or maybe there's just tissues. That's the only thing I've found so far. And they're gonna be all the way over here. <laughs> use a leaf oh my goodness do i have one? Oh yes we do <gasps> we do sink over here sure also far away from the toilet urinal um literally in the back of the house oh what are foods that like make you have to go you know what i mean okay let's do the puddle where should the litter box be i don't know um and the leaves will be over here this is the toilet paper the kitty litter box will be the first accessible toilet right? However, if you want to use the actual toilet, you're going to have to go through a maze. We're going to make a maze. Um, yeah, it's just going to be, it's going to be the best. It's really going to be the best. And to get to the toilet paper, you have to go through a maze too. This is not really looking that mazy. This is, I feel like this is very obvious. So if you're coming from here, right, you try to go, oh, you know, to the toilet. Yeah. Oh, wait. That works. Okay, we need to put obstacles. We need to put obstacles. Hold on. Oh, coffee. Coffee as an obstacle. You come from here and you try to go this way. But if you want to go through, you have to drink the cup of coffee, which just makes you have to go even more. So you go back down. You can't go this way. Okay. I found the toilet paper. Uh-huh. Okay. But then you go through here and you're like, okay, the toilet, the toilet, the toilet, the toilet. Go. Run. No, and then you can't get through here. Okay, wait, I need to fix that. You know what? the bucket the bucket will be the toilet this is what we're gonna do we're just gonna put this in front of the toilet stall and you finally manage to get your way through the maze and you go here and it's blocked off and you're like what am i supposed to do i'm literally gonna pee myself and you have to use the bucket you have to use the bucket <laughs> wait 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 you go wait <laughs> okay okay i'm actually gonna put it one backwards there we go this is perfect mm, i'm so mature i know mm -hmm. yep 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 listen lionel asked for this okay lionel asked me to do this 
I am just trying to heed his request. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> so the last thing that I'm going to do, we're going to put more coffee over here. Just a nice little coffee bar if anybody's thirsty. And yes, it conveniently blocks the sink so you can't actually access the sink. So that's great. Why do I feel the urge to put a tomato? Tomato. Ah, uh, yes. The restroom refuge. Here we have a beautiful maze that you must run through if you even want to attempt to use the toilet. Lionel is shown here trying to- Hey! I roped that off for a reason! Wow. He is so obsessed with toilets that he found a way. He crawled over the partition that I put just to get to it. Wow. Sure, I'll take a picture. Oh, I'll take a picture. What a fine work of art. Lottie's t tummy feels bad? Lottie, do you need to use the restroom by any chance? Just curious. Just wondering. I, I do feel bad. Lottie, Lottie hasn't done anything to me. House of free refills. Okay, okay. I will, I will not make this toilet themed, I promise. I didn't really see what items she wanted. I'm assuming she wants some sort of like restaurant gas station thing i don't know oh you know what okay have you guys watched nathan for you the whole premise of the show he like tries to help struggling business owners and he gives them like a totally wacky idea in order to help them right for example one of the episodes speaking of restroom related activities he's trying to help a frozen yogurt shop like get more business so he tells them to have a poop flavored ice cream, right? Like crazy stuff like that. So one of them is he's offering people free gas from a gas station, but in order to get it, you have to turn in like a coupon at the top of a mountain and they literally like go hiking in the mountains and like take a bus there and like spend the night and go camping. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of for this. If you wanna get free refills, you gotta climb i mean this isn't much of a mountain but you gotta climb this mountain like yes it has free refills but at what cost okay so i think the refill center refill station should be inside uh which one did we say was hot dog water this one we'll do hot dog water refills some of these back here hot dog water why am i singing baby shark oh my goodness i remember when i was working at the school all of the kindergartners were obsessed with baby shark and they would make me play it for them in aftercare <sighs> here is a light roast hot dog water and a dark roast hot dog water okay and by the way this is not fruit inside of here just so we are all on the same page that's not fruit that's cut up pieces of hot dog now let's add some obstacles am i right you want to get these free refills okay then Okay then. Not me trying to like make another maze. What is with me and trying to make so many mazes? You know, I could just make the whole thing these little simple panels. Why did I not think of making this just a ginormous house? Oh my goodness, here I am working with these little things and we could have had all this space. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is gonna take me forever, no. Okay, thankfully it just makes like a nice little line for us, so that's that's good. If you want to get to the free refills, look at all the shimming you have to do. It's going to take you five years to get through this maze. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's too much. By the time you get here, you're going to be dehydrated. You're going to die of thirst. Um, For the rest of this exterior, I guess I'll decorate it a little bit. We're going to make this kind of like a mountaintop, just like I was saying. So we have to climb. We need like rocks and stuff. Cave. Suspicious, dangerous cave. Okay. Rocks. Rocks. Oh, poisonous flowers. Yeah, some of these bad boys. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to make this look like a scary, dangerous mountaintop poisonous flowers treacherous trails oh if you want those free refills you got to be committed this is looking good this is looking great i would argue fantastic <laughs> i think if there's any space left we'll fill it with weeds and call it there all right we're good to go your free refills i can't even get to her bestie <laughs> bestie <laughs> so uh raven describe this aesthetic um you know it's it's that kind of aesthetic that transcends descriptions you know what i mean like 
one can't really find words in the human language to describe this, really. Okay, here is the house of free refills. If you want to get your hands on some free refills, you're gonna have to get through this mountain. Look at that. Um, we've got poisonous plants, spikes, rocks, treacherous caves, um, sand. Sand, you may become dehydrated. Yep, and there are no bathrooms here. If you want to use the bathroom after your free refills, if you manage to get to them, you're going to have to go on over to Lionel's house. Good luck with that. I need a place where I can run around unleashed. What the heck? Does that imply that in the Animal Crossing universe, the dogs do have leashes, but like who's walking them? He wants something for a running dog. He wants space to be able to run around. So what's the worst possible thing we could give him? Somewhere that doesn't have a lot of space. Honestly, this is just like opposite Happy Home Paradise builds part two, part three actually. I feel like it has to be the tiny island, right? This is not a lot of space for him to run around. And he's running around in the scorching heat with his little paw pads. They're gonna burn on the rock so he can't even run around in here. There you go, you can run around. You can run, butch. You can run on this treadmill. There you go. I'm gonna see if I can actually make this room smaller. Oh, perfect, perfect. Should we put like a motivational poster on the wall? I feel like we could maybe find something motivational to like in really inspire him. Just really make him feel like he has something to run for, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> I love how there's like nothing else to focus on, so it's just different various shots of the treadmill. 10 out of 10. This is truly a work of art. This really represents like what we need to run for, run towards in life, you know? Like, what, what, what are we running from? What are we running towards? What are the goals? Our fears? And what does this room symbolize, you know? In the mind. In, in our psyche, our goals, our fears, it all circles back to Pudge. I don't know, Flurry seems like we could easily do the opposite of that. Flurry obviously wants snow. The obvious choice is to stick her in the desert, I think. And I have to put a snowman. Okay, I'm putting all of this stuff inside. <laughs> I'm not putting any of this outside, no. This is so depressing. There you go. Beautiful house, beautiful. Okay, so she wants like white, snow, cold. So, um, oh, scorpion. Okay, we've got some scorpions. Never mind the fact that it's a lamp. Feeling chainsaw. Okay, I'm feeling little dinosaur. And it's so hot, it's so hot that the leaves are like the trees are dying. The leaves are melting off the trees. If that that's not how it works. Flurry, this is great. This is fantastic. Toilet on the side of the house. Um, it's so hot that someone died. Smoker? Smoke some ribs or something, make it even hotter out here. Um, oil barrels full of gasoline that could potentially be set on fire at any given point. Oh, do we have a campfire? Perfect. Put one right next to the barrels full of gasoline. This is like the worst possible thing we could have made for Flurry. <laughs> I think it's good to be H. It's perfect. There you go, Flurry. I hope you enjoy your nice, heated, scorching hot home. I think that that is gonna be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. I hope that I can make you laugh with some of these builds. I hope you all stay safe, stay hydrated, have a great rest of your day. Bye.